what's going on guys chaos here bring you guys another video then so bring you guys probably one of my favorite red zone runs uh, I brought you guys a couple this year that are in a lot of books um, at iPhone Pro iPhone uh, slot um, this week I'm gonna bring you another one it's a really good run uh, I like to go to it in the red zone every once in a while I'm not much of a runner you guys know myself but it's definitely an effective run that you guys could use and uh, I think you guys will be able to get more touchdowns out of it uh, it's tough to score down the red zone this year without high ball passing wise so being able to run the ball effectively is really, really important. So I'm going to bring you guys that. If you guys could do me a big, big, big favor, please hit the like button for me, man. You guys have been doing a great job. You guys have been helping me out so much. My videos have been killing it. Um, it's late in the year, and I've still been doing awesome, and that's a tribute to you guys. So if you guys can continue to do that, I would really, really appreciate it. So let's jump into the video, and let's get it. All right, guys, so I'm going to get this started here. We're in the Chargers playbook. The formation is I form wing, which several books do have this, but only two books in the game have this run right here. Strong stretch. Chargers and Cardinals. Now, you guys know my ebooks out of Chargers. If you're interested in that, it's in the description below. Uh, this run is not in it though, and but this is a very, very good run. So what you want is you want your wide receiver to be opposite of the hash that you're on. You want to run the ball to the wide hash towards the wide receiver. So I'm on the left hash, so I have my wide receiver on the right. So I flipped it. I'm going to come on to Big Nickel. Big Nickel is probably the best run defense right now. Whenever I have trouble stopping the run, I go to Big Nickel. Plus, it's probably one of the best um, defenses in general right now, so people don't like to change. If I go from shotgun to eye form to single back, they're still going to be in Big Nickel. So that's why I picked that. Now, just motion the guy over. And you don't want to hit turbo here. It's really important that you don't hit turbo. It helps you to be able to pick your gaps. Now, I'm going to go to the replay really quick. Now, this run, obviously, you're not going to gain 100 yards every, every play. If you did, you'd never, ever pass the ball. But this is why this run play is so good, because it has potentials for touchdown a lot. So what this receiver ends up usually doing is he touches this corner, just cracks him for a second, and lets him go, just like that. And then a lot of the time, Sherman will end up taking him from the wide receiver, and then Conley, the wide receiver, will go get this safety, and then you have open field where no one's with you. Now, he didn't do that that time. He's not going to do it every single time. If you could, you'd literally have a touchdown every play. But that's why you don't hold turbo. Just let yourself pick your gap, pick your hole, uh, be patient, and and you'll pick up good yards consistently. I'm never gonna not pick up like more than five or six here. Now it has potentials for touchdowns if they would block correctly, but sometimes they don't always. Now I got a touchdown right there. Maybe not would have been, it probably wouldn't have been a touchdown if someone had been there to click on, but you guys see the potential for it to be a huge, huge play. Um, if Sherman blocks the correct way, you have a lot of room to work. So um, see right there, Conley. <laughs> Look like it's funny because Conley is absolutely getting dominated. If you have good receivers in Mutt, like Calvin Johnson, Julio, even um, even um, Odell Beckham's not bad in this game. Um, they won't get dominated like this. So watch, watch how Conley gets absolutely just straight dominated right here. He literally, I don't know what corner that is. He has to be the best corner in football. He literally throws him to the ground. Um, so like if he's not like all he has to do is not get thrown to the ground. He only has to touch him. And then you can see this safety gets blocked and I'm gone. But I end up uh, I end up getting a big gain anyways. But like I said, like you're gonna get, like a good run is if you're getting five, six, seven, eight yards every time with potential for more, which is exactly what this run is. It's a big gain with potential for more. Um, so right there it was perfect again, and you can see pick up the big gain. So I'm, I can't stress enough that just don't hold turbo. If you hold turbo, you're going to screw this run up. I promise you, you'll beat your fullback out there, you'll beat your tight end out there, and you'll get out there too quickly and you won't you won't get a big gain. But if you don't hold turbo, you're going to be doing what I'm doing, which is consistently getting big yards. Um, it's really, really, really simple. Um, it's nothing extravagant. It's not like I'm literally getting a touchdown every play. Jeez, my blocking was bad right there. That's the first unsuccessful one I've had. Um, but I hope you guys are liking this run. I hope you guys will implement it, especially if you guys have my ebook. If you have, if you're in Chargers book running trips tight end pretty much consistently, make sure you incorporate this because it's really, 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 really good. And that was finally it. Conley finally did what he did. Now I wasn't, I didn't get out there quick enough. That was my fault. But this is what I want to happen. Uh, essentially, this is the ideal situation. So he's going to touch this corner for a second. So I need is one little chop inside. And then, and then Sherman will go get him. Now Sherman kind of blocks me a little bit right here, which is why I was slow getting out there. But then after he chops this corner, you want him to go get this safety, which is perfect. Um, now Sherman was just really, really slow getting out there. Um, ideally, to be completely honest with you, if I'm in butt, I'm probably putting another running back here. I probably, I guess I could do that in regs too, so that they'll just get out there and block, um, or just like a really fast fullback like Franco or something. But 
you guys get it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a really, 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 really good run. Hope you guys will implement it, especially if you're in my ebook. I'm definitely going to be incorporating it. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.